the last years, which is not much. I'm still learning animation. Uh, but I think I just want to encourage you, anyone, to learn animation. Anyone can learn animation if they just go to, go to learn uh, or like just do it, right? Anyway, so um, I have these three shorts. I think you saw the chicken one last night. And then I have, I'm going to show you two others. Uh, sadly, we don't have sound because of NVIDIA. Thank you, NVIDIA. So I'm just going to do like this, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to show you these three sh short videos. They're not short films, they're just tests. The two first of them, I'll show you here first. We have this cute blue thing here. Is the resolution all right here, by the way? Yeah. The blue thing is called a squishy, because it's squish, squash. And then we have these two robots. These two first, they are like uh, anima uh, animation cinematics for video games, just to pitch to publishers and so on. Uh, Incidentally, neither of those games are being published, but I hope it's not because of my work. <laughs> so what I do in the first one, I take the animations from the game and I just made a little scene. This one has no audio. Okay, anyway. Very simple, flat shaded, everything, just to, to test. Um, Hey, don't worry, later. <laughs> we'll have time for, clap, for claps. So... And you know this one? This is what you want small time. Thank you. <laughs> so the most important thing is I had a lot of fun doing everything of this, so it's very encouraging. I can sorry. Okay. So you can see they have they have some things in common. The two first, there's two characters, they kind of siblings, and there's always this jump and then suspension in the air and then falling down. Which is a very risky thing to do, and I don't fully like it, but it's, it works because it's this cartoony style, right? So the takeaway from there is just go nuts and, and try, try things. If it looks like that's not possible, that's not real, that's not matter. Just try, and if it works, makes people laugh, go for it, right? Um, I, I, oh, by the way, I was here uh, three years ago, three yes, in the Blender conference talking about free software. I'm not going to bore you with that today. I think you all know about all this already. Hope. Um, I'm glad to be here again uh, talking to you guys. So anyway, let's go, uh, let's do some layers. We saw the final products. Now we're going to see the layouts, blockings, and, and splining. And then if we have time, I will open the blend files for you and just we crack them open and see the mistakes and see how, it, how I'm cheating for the camera. Uh, so you can also get inspired. And as Kathy was talking about, how, how you can push the, the poses uh, until like, an extreme which I still have to learn how to do better, but anyway. So first we have the squishies cinematic of oh, 25 frames per second. Yes, yes, I know. Shh. Um, so these are the individual animations I made for the game. It's a VR game, and these guys are running around, and you spray them with water, uh, and then they come out of the shell, and can then they have these suckers, and they can climb the walls. And then if you dry them out, they will go into the shell and they can roll around and it's fun. So I took this and this is the, just the layout, which also has these animations that I already made for the game. No face animation, which is just a 2D texture changing, swapping, by the way. 
And the cool thing, uh, the way I did this, I'll show you later, is using the NLA editor. Wow, <laughs> that mysterious <laughs> tool of Blender. It was really useful because I had all these animations in different actions, and I could just put them together and edit them as a video editing and put all this together, right? Next, we have the, uh, the magnet, it's called Magneto, Magneto Bro, uh, 24. Yeah. Uh, this is the first layout blocking. I already explained some because, yeah. It's, this, is, this, was, this was the first time I used the proper uh, pass um, workflow that I learned from the nice uh, Bernard Leonard and Nathan Vechtel in their DVDs and the CG Cookie DVDs as well. You can see I'm already moving the camera and so on, and I introduce this character, passes by. And the next one uh, is kind of polished. You can see a bit more, a bit more smooth. These rattle balls, that was a mess for you later. Well, that was a mess, but it worked at the end. And this is an excerpt from the game, actually. This is the game. And I just took that screen, screen cap and just chuck it in. And here, my friend Folka, he made the 2D effects that we can go in, in detail if you want. Like the smokes, particles, that's just drawn frame by frame over the 3D animation. And this background is also from the game, just a video capture of the game. So very quick to render anyway. Right? Um, just to show you more detail, I'm talking about these particles. See? Very simple. You could do that in Grease Pencil, actually, but we were rushed and he just did it. I don't know how, and he just sent me the PNG sequence. Okay, let's take a look at the hand and the wormhole. Um, very important for every project. I also have thumbnails for the others, but I don't find them, so I just found this one. Uh, very important for anything you do, no matter how short, paper. Paper first, then you go to the computer, okay? To clear your mind, have nice ideas, and just work out what the story is gonna be. So you can see it's pretty close to the final thing. <clears throat> uh, worm pops up from the earth, the chicken goes, starts to pick it up, the worm goes down, and so on and so forth. Like really crappy drone because it's, it's just for yourself. Unless you're working on a team, you have to, you have to make it clear. Uh, if you're just doing animation for yourself, make it clear for yourself, uh, but do it. Don't skip uh, thumbnailing and storyboarding. And see, I have this struggle here with the, you see the mouse cursor? Yeah. You see the struggle here with the worm and so on, and then goes in, and goes into the, the interdimensional space. Um, and I thought of the space scene afterwards, because I was like, wormhole. So the title came, Afterwards, of course, I'm a huge space nerd, if you don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, my mind went off. So it's good to experiment and have crazy ideas and just see, see what's up. Let's take a look, sorry, let's take a look at the layout. You see how rough it is, just to get distances right and to see how it works, uh, how the staging works. Went crazy. I really wanted the legs to go up, but it was a bit too much. And I got some nice poses there, so <laughs> go see, right? Uh, show you the blocking. And on the blocking, I do a bit, so I do it a bit by intuition, how many frames I want in the blocking. If I really want to detail something, I just go in and insert more, more frames, so it gets through. But yeah. Shelty could tell you more about uh, how this works. Look, okay. <coughs> and you can see, like, I'm rendering, so I'll show you later how I've done. You just shape, shape keys to deform uh, the mesh. For example, when it goes down, with shape key, I'm correcting the, the silhouette so it goes in. But since I use, I'm using Simplify to just quickly render out from viewport, it doesn't fit in there. But if you apply the subdivision, everything fits, fits in nicely. And then the splining, you'll see that the warming is really different. But this, this is rendered in viewport, everything is so crappy. But still got me the first prize on the, on the Nimble uh, Collective, which I'm really thankful for. That was amazing. And if it wasn't for that contest, I would not have animated this chicken. So I'm really thankful to the Nimble and to Jason. 
See, the worm is just very wavy, very floaty. I just rushed in the last minute. It didn't have sound. You know, it was so embarrassing to submit something just like that without sound or, or whatever. But I just went for it. And the last weeks uh, for the Susan Awards, I decided to, yeah, to finally render it properly. <laughs> and so, ah, the spacing was still there, but it was different. The worm was already there. The space background was too complex, maybe. So I simplified in the final. I simplified. Oh, I moved everything. Nice. <clears throat> Sorry. I simplified. The, well, the worm appears from outside the screen, and the background is a bit more smooth, and so on. I applied some uh, gimmick filters. Gimmick is this plugin for Krita, and GIMP makes absolutely gorgeous filters and crazy stuff. I just need to smooth out and make it a bit cartoony. I could have used a space, a space VFX um, background, though. Maybe next time. Um, so I'm just going to stick now with the chicken, if you like. You want to see something from the others? Maybe I should stick to my script, right? <clears throat> what time is it? Oh, shit. We have five minutes? Yeah? OK, there you go. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> so since I'm a kid, uh, I live when I lived with my, my, my parents, we always had animals, horses and chicken and stuff. And once we had a, a huge like dome, like a, a kind of a cage dome for the chicken to live in, and some hamsters. The hamsters escaped, obviously. <laughs> those, those guys. But the chicken, they were my friends. <laughs> I would just go like this, you know, and the, the young rooster would just jump on my, on my arms, and, we would, and I would also like make them fight, but don't tell that. <laughs> And um, so this is, my, this is my house, and the chickens just run around sometimes when they, we let them. The dogs respect them most of the time. And I just went there to record them, although they are very in me, like how chickens move and so on, I think. But still, I went there to record and just get some good reference, especially like this one where they're scratching the ground, because I really use that. When they scratch, they, they lift the head. They're not looking down. They're, you know, they feel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is do, you're doing some folly at uh, the university in Bristol. I did not use this chicken. <laughs> you can see I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but we did use uh, all this. It's super fun to to play with to do the sound. So I also encourage you. So I started downloading all the sounds from the internet for free sound, freesound.org. Just put them all there. It was fine. Most of the sounds are actually from that website. But then we had this chance to go to Foley, to Foley Studio, or if you have any whatever microphone and a bunch of, bunch of stones, do it yourself. It's a lot of fun, really. It's really fun to do Foley, and you feel more accomplished, right? Uh, wait, uh, not yet. Oh yeah, I should finish and uh, quick. So I'm gonna show you the blend file of the chicken, and show you a hilarious moment where I cheated so much that I cracked myself up. So. Uh, as you can see, the scene is very simple like this. This is how Nimble Collective gave me the scene. You have this background, beautiful painted, the, the, the chicken rig and everything. Uh, it's super fun to animate. You can see the, the bee bones in the, in the neck. It's so much nice to animate. It gives you already these curves, right? And the whole, the whole chicken is using a... I don't know if you can see it now. No, whatever. Yes, using a... Um, can you help me? Like a, Modifier to magic form, yes, thank you. So, so it all behaves consistently, you know. So it's super fun. Anyway, so I animated did the animated the chicken. I come from film, so I really want to do some other shots and different camera angles, like from inside the the hole. Maybe you see the chicken peering in. But for time constraint and whatever, so I just focus on animation and just have the this single shot with a little shaking at the end, and that's it. And I really pushed. Uh, just cheating for the camera, because if you see the chicken, if you see the, the rig in the... <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I disable? Da, 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 da. Bravo, okay. You can see how, how I'm twisting everything just to make it look nice towards the camera. So do that. It's super fun to do. It looks, it looks cool, I think, at least. Uh, very cartoony, and if you can get away with it, just do it, right? Another example of this 
It's a bit later when it picks it and it goes down like there. I love this one. Look at it. It is so twisted. I love it. And you have a lot of fun doing this because it's just, it's just fun, right? <laughs> okay, I think I should wrap up. I'm also doing a lot of sm uh, smearing, just deforming and scaling the bones, like you can see here. And then with, uh, with shape keys, I'm correcting the, the shape going in. Going in, I'm just correcting it. And the poor chicken is all like, what's that? <laughs> that's what, I, that's what uh, scientists, this is for real, scientists call this effect spaghettification. <laughs> when you get close to black hole and the gravity in your feet is, or whatever, it's spaghettification. Okay. Um, Something about this you want to ask? Because we have two minutes. Okay, better. Um, maybe I can show you. What can I show you? What can I show you? Pablo? Yeah. Little, like, when he gets... Ah, that's a pencil. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you mean. Yeah, that one. <laughs> this is just grease pencil. Yeah. And I, I think it was. I was debating, like, because the feather is coming and also the smoke, and it's a bit too much, but eh, just went for it. This is just, um, where is Grease Pencil? Edit Strokes. Uh, did you render it for the final? Uh, yeah. Final? It, I did I not? Did you render it? Oh my god. Yes! It works. Yeah, it's. Uh, did I convert it to shape? I did. Ah. Thanks, Pablo, for good memory. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. The puff is just... Um, right. Sorry. Yeah, my memory is really good, as you can see. I had a lot of problems with the particles, and I found a little bug. So these particles are being killed by the collider, if you know what I mean. And, but then, in the particle system, it says, keep alive, right? That you tick the, in the render uh, settings of the particles, you see, you tick, keep alive, keep the died ones, the dead ones, keep them there, right? Uh, but that didn't, uh, that somehow didn't work. And when I sent to the render farm, what I got back was no particles or particles doing crazy shit. So just don't do that. Okay. <laughs> and maybe I can submit the book. Thanks. Oh, oh.